The federal government has made case for Nigerian youths to engage in rabbit farming, saying the trade has huge economic potentials. Executive Director of the National Agricultural Land Development Agency, NALDA, Prince Paul Ikone, gave the charge at a news conference in Abuja. Ikone, who raised concerns over the level of ignorance or the potentials of the trade in Nigeria, said over 17,000 youths will be engaged in a capacity-building program put together by the agency. Some of the components of the program include distribution of five rabbits, feeds, cages and drugs for the participants. We have 18 pilot states. In the 18 pilot states, we are taking them stage by stage. It will not be given to those that have been that have dedicated interest until they finish training. So they are, these two states are at the process of going through training. Abia and Imo have done their training and rabbit has been given to them. The rest state will also come by the time we, these two states are done with their training and then rabbit distributed to them before we go to the next state. Other economic benefits of the program was also highlighted by the now the boss. From the first day the farmers start rearing rabbits, they start making money from that day. From the collection of the urine to the collection of the pool, which will be used as fertilizer, their money will keep accumulating. At the end of the month, we'll pay them based on the liters and kg of what they have submitted to the NADA office at their various states before the off-taker takes it. The sale of the, the animal in self is another means of income. The meat is one of the best meat because it's white meat and it's good for those that are having cholesterol issues. That also will be source of income. Then the hide, in which, the hide which is the skin, is also in high demand for designers. So you can see the, the, the benefit of engaging our people in rabbit rearing. States that will benefit from the program, which will also be implemented in phases, includes Oyo, Imo, Abia, and Cross River states. CNN News.